Welcome, distinguished officers, members, and guests of the local DFW-1270 post, the auxiliary, American Legion, their representative auxiliary, as well as the AMFETS 101, AMFETS riders, and the AMFETS auxiliary organization. I'd like to thank you all for being here today, as well as convey how much of an honor it is to stand here in front of you to speak about a topic I hold so dearly. Commemorating and promising to honor and the sacrifice of our nation's heroes. Memorial Day is not meant to be just a day off of school, but rather a day of remembrance of those who gave their lives in the pursuit of all we as Americans hold dearly. It is a day of honor those we have lost in the military service of our country. We honor these fine men and women by coming together in congregation. Not much different than today's national-wide parades and a personal festivities such as barbecues. All to come together to display the freedom that must not be taken away. It is day Enjoy your day, enjoy extra time spent with your family and friends. Enjoy your backyard barbecues and unofficial start of the summer. But I ask you please, do not forget why we are able to enjoy the, these occasions. We gather here on this final Monday of every May to honor our lost heroes, the service men and women who answer America's call to service that paid the ultimate price. Today and every day is a time for Americans as one body to stand up and say thank you. We promise never to, we promise never to take your sacrifice for granted. And we are forever grateful for all you have given to keep our Republic safe, sound, and the greatest nation in the world. We remember all fallen and we will continue our promise as Americans that we will never forget. First, Second World War, Korea, Vietnam, Lebanon, Grenada, Panama, Persian Gulf, the crisis in the Middle East, and more recent situations we are facing overseas have given the state all the more reason to ensure those we lost and honor. It is even important to understand the significance, understanding that all gave some and some gave all. Thank you. Call Chaplain, Commander Chaplain. Please remove your headwear. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, bless our country with freedom, peace, and righteousness. Through thy favor, may we meet at last before thy throne in heaven. We praise thy great name forever and ever. Amen. States, I place the symbol of our remembrance. Hey, Tan Hut. And salute. Two.
president of the uh, BFW Auxiliary, please. I place upon our sacred shrine this wreath as a symbol of eternity. Its color bespeaks life everlasting. Thus do we say that the deeds of our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines on land, on sea, and in the air are immortalized in the hearts of a grateful people. Company 10 Hut, hand salute. Two. AMVETS Post 101, Commander. As Commander of AMVETS Post 101, I dedicate this wreath to the memory of all sailors, soldiers, airmen, and marines who lost their life in battle. May you rest in peace. Amen. Company 10 Hut, and salute. Two. Avets on Zuri, post 101. Company, Chad Hutt, and salute, two. Ambex Riders, post 101. On behalf of Ambex Riders, post 101, I place this wreath in remembrance of all the men and women that never came home. Company, Chad Hutt. And salute. Two. Do we have the Star Candle banner? Gentlemen, on behalf of our commander, Skip Madera, I want to welcome everyone coming and thank everyone for coming to our ceremony today. Uh, sports and the military. Now, how many sports fans do we have here today? 
Phillies fans, Eagles fans, Flyers fans, Sixers fans. How many players are in our Hall of Fame? We have Steve Hart and Bobby Clark, and Julius Irving, fellows like that. But I propose a better team, ladies and gentlemen. I propose a team of America. Our symbol is the flag. Our greatest players, General George Washington, Colonel Theodore Roosevelt, Ad Admiral Chester Nimitz, General George MacArthur, General Dwight David Eisenhower, Lieutenant J.G. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, Ar Admiral or General Schweitzkopf, is that how you say Schweitzkopf? Mm -hmm. Admiral Colvin Powell. These are our Hall of Famers and they played for that team for over 200 years. Keep them in your memory, those who have fallen. Friends of ours. We have uh, Stoney here today with us, the Vietnam vet who lost many, many uh, friends in Vietnam. And Murph, same thing. Many of us have lost the families that grieve for freedom. Our shores are teeming with immigrants more than any country in the history of the world. And that is because our veteran gave us freedom. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, step inside for refreshments or a uh, couple of refreshments. <laughs> what do we do? A couple of beers. Come on in. I'm going to say, I'm going to say,